Hi everyone, myself, Dr. Christ P. Paul. First, let's have a, you know, energy in the room and say, good morning. The voice should be large enough so that we all hear, good morning to you all. Good morning. Okay, so let me start. Myself, Christ P. Paul. I'm scientist at Raja Ramana Center for Advanced Technology. And when I was coming here and working on this, one thing which clicked in my mind is what I am just because what we are. And that things, there should be, I should be grateful to all the people who were associated with me in making me what I am today. So I'll start with my parents, my teachers, my colleagues, my brothers and sisters, siblings for spacing, sharing the learning space my friends, my teammates, what made this laser technology into the next domain. And definitely, last not but least, my wife and children who stood all these years of the commitment with me to bring a new domain in this area. See, I am from uh, a humble background. My father was working in a public sector company, not senior enough. Salaries were big, and I'm talking of 70s. They wanted to give a good education, so they chose not to the great, but some good school in the area. And I can tell you, the summation of the tuition fees of all four of us, if you multiply with by two, will be the take-home salary of my father. So that hardship he started and worked on, making things happen into it. But once dream was in my mind, he, we will do something great, make impact in the global scenario. With this, I started working on. And think on this, after completing my engineering, working for two professional managed company, I joined Raja Ramana Center for Advanced Technology in 1995 in laser program. Just for the awareness of the audience, I will say what laser is. See, laser is nothing but a special light. Now you will be saying what special light I'm talking of. What is the difference if it is laser and light? Very simple. It can be understood with the analogy of army and mob. You see, army is, and mob both are made up of men. Same, laser and light both are made up of photons. But the things that make it different is the discipline army has. Similarly, laser is very disciplined light. It has you know, uniform, uniform coherence, single wavelength, and many other properties, and that makes it different. So if somebody asks you tomorrow, today you go to your home and talk to your grandmother, and she asks what is the difference between laser and light, you can say, laser is army, while light is a mob. So this is the difference. And I'm the guy who had been working in the field of deployment of these lasers into metal additive manufacturing, metal 3D printing. So what 3D printing is, I'll also introduce before we start the whole conversation. 3D printing means you have a model and you are doing processing and you have a product, what you made of it. And you might have seen many 3D printers, especially plastic printers, but we built metal printer at our research center. So that is the thing. So what happened in, let me come back to the talk of my journey. In 1995, I joined the center as a scientist and started working on it. And in 2000, there was a you know, discussion among the leadership, why should not we start, stop the development of CO2 laser system? Now, once I'm saying CO2 laser, I will also elaborate what it is, because if in a stock of the army, we have Madras regiment, we have Punjab regiment, something similar, we have lasers also, we have YAG laser, we have uh, fiber laser, we have CO2 laser. So we were working on the CO2 laser, and then finally management decided to diversify the product, go to the application. Since I was working on a project, 20 kilowatt laser, so I was the last person to join the team. All my friends, they took their applications, started working on different domain. The moment I come and I see, no option. And I was furious because I was, you know, at the time a bit young, with more energy and more anger. I went to my boss and said, what are we going to do? Boss simply said, 
दिस इज योर प्रॉब्लम नॉट माई प्रॉब्लम एंड फिर तो मैंने करना क्या ये तो बोलो लिटरेचर सर्वे करो फाइंड आउट द फील्ड एंड लकली इनफ विद आउट ऑफ द फ्रस्ट्रेशन आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग द लिटरेचर सर्वे एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर इन नाइनटी नाइन टू थाउजेंड वी डेंट हैव सो गुड कनेक्टेड इंटरनेट हमारी पूरी लैब में एक पी सी होता था उसी में बैठ के इंटरनेट करना होता था somehow we started searching on this and at that time i came to know that there is uh, something called shape deposition method in western world and we started you know taking and starting and then we started working on this at our research center kuch malum nahi tha do char parche the keval shodh patra do char usse apne ko machine banani hai we went to the indore market bought some metal powder to make the product we started fusing it but there was no fusion there was cloud of the powder in the lab and you know this this make the things like abhi kya hoga mushkil hai mushkil theek hai kuch aur attempt kiya kuch banna shuru hua i was confident that uh, yahan se to shuruaat hui hai ab hum duniya mein apna danga bajayenge and this is the thing i am talking of the first c that is conceptualization we should have a concept in the early stage what i want to do what i want to go ahead with this is the first c that is our conceptualization so that is here conceptualization so we did that part conceptualization and i went to my boss and saying that ki abhi ye jo aapne machine banayi hai na isse kuch world class hone wala nahi hai to boss ne bola matlab jo bhavna hoti hai na तुम अपने आप को ज्यादा स्मार्ट समझते हो पहले तो ये बताओ कि तुम इससे क्या कर सकते हो तो आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन इट एंड थॉट ऑफ इट देन फाइनली वी हैड अ डिस्कशन एंड वी केम टू नो दैट वी विल मेक ए स्मॉल ट्यूब ऑफ 25 मिलीमीटर डायमीटर एंड 25 मिलीमीटर हाइट एंड वी वेंट एंड डॉट स्टार्टेड टॉकिंग दिस बोला ठीक है बना के लाओ जिस दिन लेके आओगे उस दिन मशीन खरीदेंगे आई वेंट टू द फ्लोर टॉक टू द पीपल माई टीम आई टोल्ड अब यूर चैलेंज पच्चीस एम बनाना है my team said 50 banayenge sir so that sort of spirit and we should have a very good connected people who are working with us and that makes theek hai we have started building machine and we built and 2003 we had first machine started then i realized will making machine help me a lot and great i thought no it won't we need to work on further and i started by working on my second c that is on capability enhancement i realized i was a mechanical engineer i am a mechanical engineer not so great in the material science i started working and focusing on the material science and learn myself and i completed my phd in metal 3d printing probably one of the first phd in the country in the field of the metal additive manufacturing that was the thing i did and just that. after that i went for the post doc assignments was in the waterloo for two years we worked there on fiber lasers for matter relative manufacturing 2009 we came back and started the same program continued in a bigger way at our arcade after coming here i realized ek chana bhar nahi phod sakta ye sabko malum hai then what i did i started working on the third c which is capacity building i started collaboration with many people all around different national institutes working on this and today there are 32 academia and national labs working with our lab so we started working and making things in a bigger way and that capacity building is really helped us and we started having a complementary facility at our research lab that also made and make the things to the great extent so this was a third c that made me to work on it and believe me we are publishing two journal paper every month now this is status and this is the power of capacity building you know once you have a wide network people work with you they come with us discuss it and we are having and now in this domain we had many uh, people working on it some of the students got very nice job in the western world after doing phd with us i am not talking of job means not just a job i am talking of the faculty position so all these things happened just because of the capacity building that we had capability we enriched and after working on it i realized ki things are going to make a, a different ball game and i have to work more on and i realized all these three steps when i was working on 
probably I was, because of the inherent imbibe that my parents took to us, or the traditions we have, I was able to establish very good credibility. So once you are doing in the capacity building, once you are talking of the capability building, please don't forget to have a character on you. What you say, try to do it, make it happen. And if you are not able to say, commit them, say sorry, I am not able to do it this time. Probably next time you'll be able to. So this should be done and it paid. And today, when you talk of this, you know, recently we was talking to one uh, meeting and very senior meeting at our secretariat. The secretary says to me, we want this machine to go to every engineering institute. Now, when I'm talking of a metal printer, which is imported price is about five crore, can it go to the engineering institutes? Never, never. So the challenge we took over, can we make a machine which is 30 lakhs? And that is the thing that we run, and then we are working on it, and hopefully, we should be able to roll out at least one machine by this year end. So that is the technology I'm talking of, and it's not that, considering the way of the aggression, the way capacity, the way capability I took over, I was given the responsibility also to run incubation center at RRCAT. So we are AIC, Pi Hub, and there, you know, when I was asked to take over, the first thing I had was, Ki boss, balance sheet to padni aati nahi hai, kya business se laoge? <laughs> so first thing I did, I started working on the management courses, studied, increased my land, for again, the capability building continued and helped me into this region. And we are now one of the top incubation centers in AICs in deep tech domain in the country. So this happened, you know, just what we think as a people involved and how the thing comes. And the last part, which is about the commitment. The commitment means today I say it, I should happen this, it should happen with us, trace out whole plan, you know, from from every step we have to work on and come with the commitment. And many times, my spouse, you know, just gang get angry with me. Okay, this gentleman gets up at 4 o'clock or 3.30, start working on it. But thing is, I have, you know, once you reach to the office, you have so many things happening, people are talking to you, doing it. And what you have to do is, even today, you have to plan with a greater commitment to the things that we said, and we are doing it. So with that, that is the commitment I'm talking of. So what I say, if you talk, the raise I had in my life, the technology and the science we did, probably I just chose not to talk a lot of scientific and technical part, but I, at the time, tried to give a just introduction how this thing can be a sutra for success, mantra for success, that is these five. First is we should have a conceptualization so that I know what I want to be. We want, I had a dream to dent, otherwise in the, in the global market, and it's going to happen. We learn, we increase our capability, we increase our capacity by collaborations, we try to have a good credibility, and definitely the commitment was sort of. Thank you very much for patient, uh, you know, embarking my journey with a, such a short presentation. Thank you very much again.